Eight minutes to ten is the time. Following our report yesterday on insomnia, many of you have been in touch to tell us about your own problems sleeping. One of the successful resolutions we looked at was cognitive behavioural therapy. Uh, there are alternatives out there you've been telling us about. This morning we're taking a look at a couple of them, hypnotherapy and acupuncture. So Maureen Cromie is an acupuncturist and Dr Sarah Jarvis is GP, regularly joins us on program this morning. How can acupuncture help insomnia? Acupuncture is very effective at insomnia. It um, helps you relax, calms you down. It, it calms down the neurotransmitters in the brain and eases stress. And people sleep quite well. There's quite a lot of research saying it works very well. Instinctively I'm thinking acupuncture is something you don't do to yourself. Am I, am I, is that my ignorance? <laughs> or, or you can, I mean, can you do it to you? I can do it to myself, and I do right. do it to myself if I'm not sleeping very well. So in advance, so someone could come to you, you can give them acupuncture, and that will help them on a, on a series of nights. Do you see what I mean? I mean yeah. With some therapies, you're literally doing it as you're going to bed. Oh, Maybe there's a thought process, but clearly with acupuncture, it's something you're doing in no, advance. You, you, do, you do a course of treatment. Somebody has an ongoing sleeping problem, they'd be coming in to see you, and you would give them a course of acupuncture. Often they sleep very well after the first session. And if it's a short-term problem, that's enough. But if it's a long-term problem, it's significant. Um, you do maybe a course of five or six treatments. And there was some research saying after five treatments, the melatonin production rises significantly, so there's much better sleep. Is this um, backed up by the NHS, Sarah? Unfortunately, it's not available on the NHS routinely, but I have to say I'm a huge fan of acupuncture for many things because there is good quality evidence that it works. And when I say good quality, if you're going to look at whether or not something works, you do the real thing and then you do the pretend thing. And with acupuncture, you've been, they've been able to do trials where they look at putting the needles in the places which are proven to yeah. help and giving somebody else sham needles so they're actually needle because you really don't feel the needle when it goes in. I have to say, having had acupuncture for my own neck, I was astonished at how much impact it had when you hit a trigger point. You really know about mm -hmm. it. But with this, you're not looking at points which are particularly tender. So you can do sham acupuncture. And they would give one group of people the real thing, one group of people the other. And they, the patients didn't know which they were getting. And there was evidence that actually it was much more effective if you put it in the right spots. And in your surgery, Sarah, the insomnia and the problems it causes? Absolutely huge. I mean, many people don't have to go to complementary therapies mm. because many of them haven't looked at the standard things that you can do. It is astonishing how people will instinctively do the wrong thing. So, for instance, they'll catnap during the day. They'll sleep in when they haven't got to get up early to catch up. Both of those things completely disastrous in terms of getting your sleep pattern right. Likewise, they will very often think I'm not going to sleep and therefore they'll use their bedroom for something else. I'm going to go to bed and wait until I'm sleepy so I'm going to do something else. So they don't associate their bed with sleeping. You should be staying up until you're ready to sleep and then lying down. People will avoid coffee late in the evening because it contains caffeine. They'll forget to avoid tea, cola, chocolate. So a hot chip chocolate milky drink might help but eating a bar of chocolate disastrous because it actually contains caffeine as well. Mm. Really sensible common sense things. Do you suffer from insomnia? Uh, like everybody else, I suffer from it occasionally, and um, like Sarah says, we follow just calming down techniques, have a cup of chamomile tea, keep the bedroom quiet, don't do any computer work late at night, and often that helps, but the acupuncture really soothes the mind, and it's very effective, and there's a lot of research showing that it works well with conventional medication, so it goes hand in hand. Thank you both very much and uh, thank you everyone who's been in touch because it did prompt a huge reaction. It uh, did. Not surprisingly possibly. Lots of sufferers out there. Thank you both very much indeed. That brings us almost to the end of breakfast.